New Zealand probably have spent so much getting there emotionally and so many other ways that uh, you know the the opposition would be thinking that maybe we have a chance but that's for another day to talk about quick word to finish on on New Zealand we've talked so much about the bowling today how brilliant they were in context of the way the game unfolded just a quick word on Williamson and Taylor the way they batted on the same surface well we've always been talking about it like this team uh, they, if they have to put up runs on board williamson and uh, ross taylor has 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 to come to the party they've not got the start which which they wanted this they've been approaching their game like this and and in, in this world cup i think what is remarkable for them is is, is that uh, every time they've they've got these conditions which are which are helpful for seam bowling this attack has looked a different attack you know so that is something which has been the story of their world cup uh, they uh, they have these uh, these uh, th- these bowlers who uh, who can uh, have some kind of impact in terms of as as a whole unit you know b- apart from bold matt henry and locky ferguson you know they've been their backbone of that bowling santana has been uh, uh, providing that kind of a, a support brilliantly but the difference has always been those uh, those 20 overs of 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 uh, say grand domination or their fifth bowler you know so uh, fifth sixth bowling option which they've been utilizing in terms of uh, of according to the conditions that comes good and that has has uh, an impact you know so the the same, uh, same similar kind of score on a on a on a slightly better wicket which is uh, which is not providing that much of seam movement this this score would have looked completely different in spite of the heroics of of uh, the top 3 bowlers which 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 have been uh, taking wickets so that's been the story of of new zealand in this world cup so in the finals also it's going to remain the same you know uh, or maybe the uh, the luck of guptil so far in the tournament he may change with that yeah with, with that mm-hmm. direct hit which he must be feeling that oh you know he's not contributed now suddenly all uh, the buzz around uh, uh, around him is, is is going to be that look you have contributed for us to get into the finals because the game was not done till that moment till he had that direct hit from such a distance yep. so i think you know that's that, that's something which which will be new zealand's uh, story and and the journey uh, and and we have to just see how the conditions are or it it might be the case where they get uh, get over 300 runs because i think this bowling attack once they get past 300 runs i think they can restrict any team under that total because yep. because their bowling has been very consistent it's just that their batting has not been firing uh, in this world cup it still didn't uh, uh, didn't fire in in this semi finals which was a big game but uh, they somehow managed to pull it through and are in the the finals of the world cup yeah and i said i mean williamson did say he said 250 we thought was going to be enough the wicket slowing down we needed to squeeze the opposition and of course we showed character also talked about ross taylor sometimes people don't often understand that when you talk about ugly runs people are like what are you talking about ross taylor played an ugly innings needed at the time i wouldn't call it ugly but i'd say runs are no, runs. in hard grafted yeah. runs and you those are those are gritty grafting runs you know you and those are runs that 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 mean a lot to batsmen that, like we really value those runs cuz we understand how it looks and how ugly it is and how how it seems and how uncomfortable it feels while you're scoring those runs you don't want to be you know hitting a ball to covers and the ball's going to square leg and you're getting two runs you don't want to be feeling but you get those runs because you know how valuable they are because you know the state of the wicket you know how it's going to play you know that it's going to be difficult for everybody and you know that you're in so you want to make the most of it and that's exactly what he did not just him even Kane Williamson maybe Kane Williamson took a little bit more pressure on himself than than was required maybe he could have and he maybe he, he would also feel that he could have played a little more freely and trusted a little more had a little more probably not faith but faith would be the wrong word but uh, trusted his 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 fellow mates coming down the order a little bit more and played with a little bit more freedom maybe in hindsight those 20 runs would have made this situation a lot more comfortable for new zealand you know 260 would have would have put them in a in a like a in a par score position whereas 240, 240 makes them look like okay we re, we have to bowl really well and that's exactly what they did today but in hindsight and moving forward into the final they i think he would he would he is the kind of person who would look into these minor, minor details and and say okay i can i can change this up we can change this up and we can go into the next tournament and i think one would imagine that if india had to lose to anyone uh, they wouldn't as in uh, new zealand would would be one of those teams where they where they would feel like these guys are contending teams they're a dangerous side when it comes to world cups and this they wouldn't have taken it lightly but i think you know two weeks from now we'd say 
whatever the result if new zealand goes on to win the world cup we'd say that you know it's okay if we lost to new zealand they're a good side and they played yeah. played really well are you you're backing them to win the world cup now i am i've always backed them i think oh nice i think at the start of the tournament i said when everyone saying west indies and everyone you know the fourth team i always said new zealand man new zealand's that dark horse everyone writes them off but they always come into the top 4 so they'll be a dangerous side yeah, the and for some reason there are a bunch of good guys so i have i have a you know you know an affinity towards towards them because they're because they're genuine human beings 